of that southern male that we saw on the show. Can you reenact your character on the show? I ain't too good. Ain't, ain't much of a difference, bitch. <laughs> so much fun, oh my goodness. And I don't think it was a Southern Bay of honey, she was ghetto fish. Ghetto fish from West Dallas, boo. What side of West Dallas, like the good side or the bad side? She said the front checks. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the Castro. Um, well, we all know the Castro is progressive. We'll call it progressive, right? right. Does anybody have a question for Kennedy? I know we do it during. We do it during each episode, during each commercial. Good questions. Don't forget, you can go on Twitter. Hi. You can go on Twitter and um, send me a question at ms underscore m a h l a e. That's my name. You know, um, and you can send the questions to me, and I'll ask Kennedy. I'm going to re download Twitter first. Hold on now. Yes, you have a question? Yes, all right. What's your name? Where are you from? And what's your question? Hi. I'm wondering, uh, what did you feel like you had to prove on all of this? We can't hear you when you walk away from the microphone. You ain't walked away from no dick, so you better get over here and put it in your mouth. Start over. What's your name? What's your question? And where you from? Hi, I'm Oscar. I'm from San Francisco. Uh, I want to know, like, what did you feel like you had to prove, or what did you want to show coming back to the show on All Stars? That's a good question. You got the question, girl? Bye bye. <laughs> I ain't retarded, I got it. <laughs> um, going into All Stars, I really just, it was nothing to prove, but I just wanted to show that there was more to me than um, season seven. Um, you kind of, it, and it all goes with the, the challenges that you get that really show your personality and your talent. So All Stars 3 was definitely the opportunity to shine more because it was more entertainment based. So it was really my objective to just show more of me. Be funny, be serious, be professional, make a bitch laugh, make a bitch cry, cry myself, show some vulnerability, you know, to show a little bit more, that's all it was. What was your favorite challenge in season seven? When you think back, what was one of your favorite challenges that you stood out the most in season seven? Um, my favorite challenge, honestly, was the John Waters challenge. It was really fun working with Katia, and once it all came together, it was a success. Now, we, I love Snatch Game. It was a, it, that was definitely a great run. I mean, I like the parody, the, um, the second challenge that I won. I like the parody of uh, Amazonian Airways was fun. I mean, we had some fun, fun moments there. We're back! All right, ladies. It's time for your two-on-one dates. Stay in character, go with the flow, and don't talk over each other. This is the weirdest group of girls I have ever seen. And I like it. I like weird. So, how you feeling? I'm scared. I'm a little bit horny. Nice. Mm. So are you ready for your two-on-one date? <laughs> I'm as ready as I'll ever be, bro. <laughs> well, good luck. I thought we could get to know each other over a couple snacks. Oh, that's, uh, that's totally unnecessary. Thank you. Would you like to try a chocolate covered strawberry? This is one of my favorite delicacies. Let me just pull out my shoes because the man cannot eat me with his shoes on. Oh, right, right. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. I'm just in Facebook and I can't get enough. Oh, I can tell. Oh, wow. That's delicious. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is Perfect for a little baby white ears. <laughs> I'm finished. Did you really look at me? Yes, you're beautiful. Absolutely. That's gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> BB is just kind of there. It's... Man? Have you ever taken out a catheter? <laughs> I have. 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 I have
Oh, that is a dirty woman. Mm-mm. I don't know if you're looking for a woman like me, like you want to move this clean, clean down. Yes. Are you looking for a woman that's clean, or are you looking for a woman that's dirty? <laughs> Remember, I already did this once before. <laughs> Refurbished like Cheesecake Factory mall kiosk. Yes, I have ever been to. Thank you. Do you remember when you wore these shirts? How oh, unreal. Oh, uh, you know the style. Wow. Yeah. Now, I've seen every episode of Unreal. You I know, like every know Jeffrey like I know Jeffrey. The date's going really well. Like, Jeffrey seems like really into me. <laughs> oh, I have to take this. Yeah, I'm here now. No, she's you like a weird Do I come across as like crazy though? Oh. Like, do I look crazy? That's just a really strong word. He's like yeah. five. I can't handle it right now. I can't handle it. You're a little different. Yeah. I know Trixie is playing a fake bitch, but baby, those facial expressions are real. <laughs> no, he's like a five. He's like an LA two. Stop talking to me. What? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> it's steam could come off a wig. She would have those little lines above my head where the heat is rising. This thing is hot. <laughs> that Milky is cutting her off. <laughs> you can call me psycho, but I don't think I'm psychotic. I just think I'm really passionate about finding love. And that's why I'm here. Me too. The way you did her hair is so fun. It was she was leaving. Milk is just going way overboard. It's been great, ladies. It's been, it's been an incredible pleasure. <laughs> Bye, Gerald. <laughs> it's Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, what a day! This has been so much fun. Oh, you're trying to call on him? No, you know what? I think we can take some time to chill out. That's so nice. Yeah. Well, you know what? I got the party right here. Hold on. No, oh, I She's a lot of party. Oh, and that. Yes, oh. ma'am. You may have one, two, three. Oh, oh, don't be listening, boy. Oh. She's on tweets. Oh, my God. Yeah. Can we propose to me finding the love I couldn't find within myself? Nobody's ever loved me like you before. That's what happened. It's really, really, really sad. Supposed to be insecure. It's like a needy girl. Not just crying. <laughs> the only thing Aj is insecure about is this scene. We gonna make a toast to love. Yes. And your nice ass. <laughs> Jeffrey is so sexy. Oh my god. If this don't work out, I'm probably gonna look the bitch at mom and just take this. You is fine, boy. Just being honest. <laughs> Baby, hold on. What about your past relationships? All I had was, uh, he turned out to be a crackhead, <laughs> and he stole all my, uh, my apartment. But I found him, though, and shot his ass. <laughs> what? What's your favorite part of my body? That dick. <laughs>
Are you into the whole polyamorous thing? Now, I'm open to everything. Oh, are you? We've been looking for somebody to be a little more open. I mean, how wide are you willing to go? <laughs> so how did you two come together? I think it was fate, right, Chi Chi? Mm -hmm. Well, Mama found me, you know, at a strip club. That's Mama. Mama found me at a strip club. You've heard of sister wives? Yeah. Well, your sister wives. Sister wives. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> oh my God, you just so. Oh. oh, yeah, touch me too, though. Yeah. <laughs> Mama said I can have real meat now. <laughs> Let's see what's going on down in the meat department. <laughs> My mission while I'm here is to get me a nice, strong, firm plastic cup and give me some of that Jeffrey sperm in it so Chi Chi and I can make the family we've always wanted. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing that big and black in the water since I took you to SeaWorld. Shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, those are balls. <laughs> those are big balls. Angela is so over the top with her persona, you know, and she's making the jokes. What do y'all need to shave? Somebody told me Bush was back in office. <laughs> she, she's just drowning in that top. My dream date is whatever mother wants me to have. We're a two-piece combo over here. You want to hang out with sugar, then you got to come through me. <laughs> If Jeffrey gets me and Shangela in a fantasy suite, it's going down. <laughs> Chi Chi had a special question for you that she wanted to ask you. Go for it, Chi Chi. Chi Chi? You want to have my baby? <laughs> Ladies, it's time for the most dramatic eggplant ceremony in history. Ladies, I just really want this love to be real. And frankly, most of y'all scare the hell out of me. Which is why I've decided to give this eggplant to Ru. Will you accept my eggplant, Ru? I will take all your eggplants. ever after. Next stop, Good Morning America. We'll do Dance with Stars, and then we'll get divorced. Coming up, Milk. 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 It's just hurtful because I thought we were all better than that. Bitch, your feelings is really hurt. I'm paying no attention. That's done. Everybody death dropped in here because that was hilarious. Well, you did that. She said, it's hot. <laughs> tell us about your inspiration. I know I was the one that inspired you to be so ratchet, but tell us about your inspiration of that character. <laughs> well, you know, in situations like that, you just have to go with your gut and go with what, you know. I have some people, I came around, I've been brought up around some people in my city that do things like that. So you just kind of take here and there and just maximize it and make it bigger than what it is. And so when I heard improv, I automatically knew. I mean, when you, in this business as a host, mainly you have to think on your feet, be ready at all times, and make people laugh. So I've been doing, I've been hosting since 2004. So when I heard improv, it was on and popping, baby. I was thinking about any and everything, and they left a whole lot of shit out. I was playing with the bushes. I was telling, I was like, what is this, and why is it dust on it? Moody's! I mean, it was, it was something. Hopefully they play some edited uh, scenes. It was absolutely great. So take us back to last week when you did Jenna Jackson. Uh, for those who don't know, she does Jenna Jackson outside of doing Jenna Jackson. So 
when you got the character Jenna Jackson on the show, they said you did not look like Jenna Jackson. We all know the music video with Busta Rhymes. But when you heard that critique, what, how did you feel? Girl, you know I was shocked, bitch. I was insulted and appalled. I mean, Jenna is one of my characters. If I do impersonate anyone, I do her. So I was just appalled, honey. But you know, I take it. You know, yes, ma'am. All right. Whatever you say, you know, very bad. But, I mean, that was a shock because I was excited to be Janet. If you didn't do Janet, who would have you done? Um, my other person that I impersonate is uh, Diana Ross. I do Ross uh, more than I do Janet. And so I would have loved her part and I could have done uh, Patty too. I was actually trying to change with Chi Chi. Bitch, you want this part? Cause it's too much for me. I could have, <laughs> I would have padded my way on through. We would have had no problem. Now, since you do Ross and you saw um, Bebe doing Ross, how did you feel her Ross was? I think her Ross was good. I think, I mean, you can't really go wrong with Ross. I mean, she's ethnic. <laughs> Uh, she would have messed that up. <laughs> that's like goes down the hall of shame, honey. <laughs> but she got it right. Now, what other characters on the show do you think did horrible in this last episode of this challenge, this portion right here? This episode that we're watching right now. What, who's just not beating the beans right now? Well, usually, I usually talk about this stuff after the show and give the tea and stuff, so I'll talk briefly about it, and then we can talk about it after the show. But, um, I think the bottom, I think the bottom three was correct. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and we'll talk about it after the show. She's like, hold up now, we gotta go talk the shit after.